here with the head coach of the Ice Hogs, Andrew Sorensen, after the 3-2 to two overtime win against Texas. Coach, this game seemed to follow a lot of the themes that we've seen these, these, these last couple. What were just your overall takeaways from tonight? Again, I thought we played well. Uh, resilient to stick with it the whole time. You know, it's easy. You know, I think that obviously the that tying goal was huge. And the last penalty kill was huge. Penalty kill was all, good all night. So, yeah, we're, we're really uh, proud of the guys, the way they played. Another situation in which you guys push back in the third period. Is this group becoming confident even when you guys are behind in games? Yeah, it feels, it feels like it. <laughs> I've been there enough, right? <laughs> no, we, we, uh, I think there was a good uh, calm bench. There wasn't anything, you know, I thought we, and we had a lot of chances, especially in the early in the, or in the first period and even on the third. So we felt good at where our game was at. So we just kept chipping away at it. What were you guys doing really well in that third period when you totally controlled the game and outshot them 15 to 6, uh, I think it was? Yeah, I thought we got our feet going. I thought we started, you know, getting pucks to the net and making sure we're driving pucks deep and playing below the goal line a little bit. And so that was good. Mike Hardman scores again. Obviously, he has the, the game tying one from his office, seemingly, right right in front of the net. Is that a good example as well for, for some of these other guys? Yes, yeah, for sure. I mean, he's been great there. And he's finding pucks, and he's got confidence. He goes there. He's a big body. So, yeah, really happy for him. We saw Comesso give one up 22 seconds in, but then it seemed like he, he settled in throughout the rest of the game. It, it seemed like a pretty mature step for, for such a young goaltender. Yes, I agree. I think I thought he was... Especially in the second period there on the power play, they had some really good opportunities, some breakaways, and he was big. Uh, any more thoughts here from tonight, Coach? Uh, in overtime, Del Mastro gets the, uh, gets the game winner. Looked like you guys had the puck a lot more in this overtime than the last one against, uh, against Texas in the three-on-three. -three. Yeah, we won that first face-off, right? And then we hung on to the puck. And then uh, I thought that play that Del Mastro and Gutman made were really high-end elite hockey play. It was nice to see. Thanks, Coach. Congrats. Yep, thanks. Here with goaltender Drew Camesso after the 3-2 to two overtime win against Texas. Uh, Drew, just kind of overall thoughts on the night, picking up the win? Yeah, uh, as, a, as a team, it was a fantastic win. It was a, it was a team that's beaten us um, quite a bit in the past. So um, I really went in this game, you know, really wanted to win this one. And I'm um, glad we did. And, um, yeah, it was really a, a full team effort um, from top to bottom. They made a push there, uh, had a lot of good chances in the second period, especially on the power play, a lot of chances in tight that you guys were able to ward off and you were able to make saves on. What was it like kind of in those uh, those tense moments when it felt like they were just maybe a, a touch here away from scoring? Yeah, um, you know, they have a really good power play and, and we respect that, but I'm confident in our, our penalty kill. Um, Coach Nightingale prepares us so well every single night and I'm so confident in what he does and I have full trust in him. and. I know that every night our PK is going to be ready, and um, yeah, it was kind of mentality of, of Ben not break when we got hemmed in there a few times. So, yeah, I'm just I'm proud of the guys with how they uh, how they battled. They scored 22 seconds in, but you seemed like you settled in after that. And, and even when the Hogs were down two nothing, it seemed like you were still pretty confident in net. Where were you at? I guess maybe mentally and, and focus wise throughout that. Yeah, that's something I've worked on a lot this year. Um, I, you know, I think if that's a game earlier in the season, I let in a few more throughout the game. Um, and I'm really proud of how far I've come uh, mentally in that aspect of, you know, it's, it's a marathon and it's not a sprint. So um, I knew there was going to be a lot more, you know, big saves needed to be had. And um, I'm proud of how I flushed it. And um, I give a lot, of, a lot of credit to my team, too. They had my back all night. And, you know, obviously it wasn't the start that we wanted. But, um, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a full game. And, I knew I needed to be there for the rest of the game. And, um, you know, yeah, like I said, I think earlier in the season, um, you know, maybe a few more go in. And um, I'm, I'm proud of how far I've come and the mentality of that aspect. In overtime, when you guys played each other on Friday, they had the puck almost the whole time. They shot, they had like three shots on goal. We had none. And then they score with four seconds left after they hit you in a mask with a puck. What, what was your kind of mindset heading into, into this overtime period? Yeah, uh, as a goaltender, it's kind of similar. You know, you're going to get a, a you know a few grade A chances. Um, you know, they had a few last game. They had one tonight. So, um, yeah, but I'm confident in our guys too in three on three. And um, you know, I think if you, if you don't like to play in those those types of situations and you're a competitor, then something's wrong with you. So, um, yeah, I'm just really happy we won, um, and you know, happy with how we reacted and bounced back after going down two zero. 
You had uh, been in games in which the Hawks had come up just a little bit short, whether it's uh, in overtime or, or something like that here in the last couple. But back in the win column here tonight, you've been stringing together some really good performances but hadn't been getting rewarded with the wins. You get rewarded here tonight. But what does that kind of do for you? And it, I guess that's a little cherry on top maybe, or, or is it more than that? Yeah, every game I go in, the, the goal is to win at the end of the day. And, um, you know, as a goaltender, all you can do is give your team the best chance to do so. And um, that's really all I can control. And, um, you know, that's what I focus on every game. So, um, you know, some, some games I won't have a great game and we'll win. And sometimes I'll play amazing and lose. So um, it's something that's out of my control. But I just got to focus on doing my job and giving our team the chance to win every single night. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Here at defenseman Ethan Del Mastro after the 3-2 to overtime win against Texas and uh, Delhi, pretty good setup between uh, you and uh, Cole Gutman out there. Was it tough to nail that one in at the end? I, no, he, uh, he put it on a platter for me, kind of kind of gave me a kind of an open net there. So uh, yeah, great play by him and, and, and good patience. He was out at that left circle. Did you know he was coming back to you, or did you were you surprised a little bit when he passed it over? I mean, I I, I kind of fed him, uh, and and when, first when he didn't kind of one time it right away, I was I had a feeling he might be coming back, and he's kind of a, a patient player, and, and he looks for those good good chances. So I, I kind of figured after he didn't shoot it right away that it might have been coming back. A lot of overtime for you guys here recently. That's four of the last five that have reached OT. Are you getting more comfortable in three on three here at the pro level? Yeah, I think for sure. I mean, when, when you got that many kind of in, in a row, uh, you're, you're going to be playing a lot of three on three. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think kind of nice to get, get a win in overtime too. And, and um, but I think for sure it's it's all close games that we've been playing, so it's nice to kind of come out on the on the winning side. This has been a number of games now where you guys have pushed back late and had answers late in games to to at least force overtime and, and get a point. What can you say about, I guess, maybe the psyche and the confidence of this group when you guys are down, even by multiple goals, to one of the highest scoring teams in the league? Yeah, I mean, um, I think our team does a great job at kind of being resilient and, and kind of sticking to the plan no matter what kind of the, the score is or, or kind of what happened in those first kind of couple shifts. But I think that's kind of one of our uh, strong suits is kind of keep pushing and, and, and never give up kind of attitude. Who are, are, are there specific guys that are kind of leading the way? Is anybody being vocal on the bench? Yeah, I think we got a lot of vocal, uh, vocal guys kind of uh, on our team. I think, I think how close we are. We're all kind of chatting and stuff. But obviously, Scenes and Gusty and, and, and Bads are, are three of the kind of more vocal guys, and always staying positive for sure. So I think uh, kind of lean on them a lot. So yeah, this has been a really good team defensively the last couple of games as well. Not allowing much in terms of chances. You held them to just 22 shots. I think it was tonight. What was kind of what was making uh, the defensive side of things effective for you guys? Yeah, I think just closing quick on, on loose pucks, um, any rebounds kind of from their shots is, is getting on them as quick as possible, not giving their skilled guys uh, much time to kind of breathe out there. Um, I think when you do that, it kind of allows yourself to transition to offense quicker. They have a couple of studs up front, a couple of leading scorers in the league, guys like Stan Coven, Bork, Blue Mel. What's it like defending against them, playing against guys who are going to get chances at the next level? Yeah, I mean, obviously that's a great kind of competition to, to kind of play against. And, and um, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a challenge when you go out there, you know, that they're obviously a high scoring uh, player. So I think it's kind of about, you know, dialing on D and, and, and making sure that you limit their chances. So it's kind of a, a good competition and good fun. Thanks, Dylan. Thank you.